Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I am reading Jetty Jumping, another CBCA book. It is written and uh, by Andrea Rao and illustrated by Hannah Somerville. Love these illustrations. Look at this dude, he's gone crazy off the jetty. I hope they checked what's under the jetty first because some jetties have coral reefs and you don't want to be jumping on those. Look at her splashing into the water. They look like they're having so much fun. Let's see what the blurb has to say. While Miller's friends take big, brave jumps off the jetty, Miller stays on the blistering wood, scared of what lurks below. But when Miller accidentally falls off the edge, she discovers the beauty of the deep, dark sea, and her summer changes forever. Andrea Rao and Hannah Somerville perfectly capture the challenges of childhood and the joy of letting go in this homage to the Australian summers. And I got my jumper on today, but I feel summer in the air today. It's getting that little bit warmer again, thankfully. In Miller's town, where the sun kisses the waves and the sand tickles your toes. There is a jetty. You don't actually see too many wooden jetties anymore. Every day, Miller and her friends play under and around and on the jetty. On weekends, they go jetty jumping. Big, brave jumps from the jetty into the deep blue of the sea. What a fun way to grow up. I think that's where I'd be every day after school too if I lived somewhere like that. Bonnie twirls. Clementine dives. Matilda horsies. Clancy corkscrews. But not Miller. Miller dangles her legs, bites her lip and twists her bracelet out on the end of the towering jetty. A little bit scared. Jump, her friends yell. Jump! Miller does not jump. She might be too afraid. Clementine pin drops. Bonnie torpedoes. Clancy belly wax. Ooh, oh, if you've ever done that, it is not fun. And Matilda walks the plank. Miller clutches the edge. Jump! Jump! Her friends are being very encouraging. Miller doesn't want to jump. There are dark shadows down there. There are mysterious ripples. There is scary seaweed. There are things that move. Miller does not want to leave the jetty. Clancy backflips. Bonnie starfishes and Clementine teapots. Matilda cartwheels. Hmm, does look very interesting down there. But yeah, I don't like when you can't see what's underneath the water either. Miller hides in her towel on the edge of the jetty. Her friends swim out further. Diamond drops of water in their hair. Toothy grins on their salty, freckled faces. Jump! 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 Miller pulls at her bracelet and wishes she were braver. I wish I was braver too. My husband, Mr. Jones, is very brave. He jumps off waterfalls and everything. I, I just can't do it. The jetty is blistering. Wood splinters prick Miller's legs. It smells a little of dried fish and seagulls too. It's kind of lonely. It's quiet. It's hot. Miller watches Clancy twist and turn under and around Clementine like a, Clementine like a silky seal. She reaches down to touch the glistening surface. Murky shapes drift below. Miller's bracelet falls from her wrist, gliding and sliding into the water. Oh, oh no! It glints and blinks as it floats and falls. Floats and falls. Oh no, not a precious bracelet. I hate when I lose my bracelets. Miller grabs. <gasps> Miller tumbles. 
down she plunges, down past the jetty's edge, past the pylons with clutching barnacles, past the wavy seaweed, seaweed bubbles steaming from, from her nose, streaming from her nose, glinting fish darting through her toes. <sighs> she squirts, she blinks, there, there it is. Her bracelet dances and darts on the current, shiny, sparkly and waiting to be saved. Her feet touch the bottom. Her hands reach for her treasure. She's got it. Then back up again, back up again. A jet blast to burst through the water. Miller gasps and coughs. You jumped. Miller laughs. Her bracelet in her hand, the cool water fizzing and tingling. Her friends duck diving around her. Hmm, she didn't exactly jump, did she? Out at the end of the jetty, Clementine crazy spins, Bonnie bombs, Matilda flips and Clancy somersaults. And Miller, she's not afraid anymore. Miller jumps. Miller jumps. Miller jumps. Wow. Well, I'm glad she could swim because you shouldn't be anywhere near a jetty if you can't swim and you don't have an adult because things like that can always happen, can't they? So safety first and then go crazy. Jump, 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 because how much fun did they have? Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. I look forward to reading to you again soon. Bye for now.